I no longer have my bullish bias on Bitcoin. Of course, for the past few weeks, I've been very vocal, not only on Twitter and YouTube, but also to my champion members inside of the group. I am long. I am bullish. I'm expecting higher prices to come. That all stemmed from the long taken down here at around $24,800. As we formed the swing failure pattern here onto the NPOC, I locked in the long. And as we slowly made our way up through the charts, I've been saying no shorts, look for higher, remain long. Even from yesterday, I was still having that same bias and of opinion. No shorts, look for higher. We're coming up to our higher targets, right? Well, now I'm going to be explaining why my bias has changed. Why, as a trader, we have to lose that ego of always wanting to be right because we know it's not possible. We're here to trade the charts and make profits. I'm not here to collect clout. I'm not here to show off or brag. I'm here to show you what's real inside of this market. So I'm going to be explaining why I was wrong on that bias, why I am trading the charts and updating that, and why now I'm actually looking for a drop next. Okay. So, you know, this is a very interesting video. So let's get straight into it. Okay, I don't want to waste anybody's time here. So what was new that I saw in the charts? Well, primarily here, the first of all, the bearish CVD divergences that we started to see. So, of course, I released a video yesterday um, before this CVD divergences really started to form and before this descending triangle. Okay, so this is new information that I've got that, you know, I need to be trading with the new information, thus trading the charts. That's what we do at Chart Champions, right? That's what we do as professional traders. So, here we actually see lower highs on price, higher highs on CVD. Not only that, but the worrisome sign here is the massive increases of open interest with that bearish CVD, right? Big longs, heavy positive delta, high volume. Okay, this is bearish when we actually start to break down, which is what's happening right now. Okay, what is the pattern that is newly formed? It is this triangle. This is a descending triangle with those big bearish divergences. This for me is not something I can ignore. I owe it to myself as a trader to update my bias and trade the charts. And I owe it to you as my audience, who I've been very vocally uh, clear. My bias since 24,900 has been higher, not shorting. OK, well, I've now changed that opinion. So I need you to understand that I'm actually now with this new data looking for a drop. I will explain to you now where. OK, so really simply with this lovely triangle that we have. We have the NPOC below us sat at 26,350. What I like about this is it lines up very nicely with our triangle target. So when we actually take the length of the start of this triangle from the high of that triangle to the low and we expand this from our breakout, we can see how this lines up nicely with the NPOC down and around these lows. So I'll explain to you why I'm expecting the breakout fully. OK, to the downside. Not only are we seeing big bearish divergences, a lot of late longs opening, but we look at the DXY and we're seeing the rise. We look at the stock market and this is obviously falling down very quickly right now following this um, harmonic that we've been trading for the past few weeks. Right. So, um, you know, this is something to just be aware of when you're seeing the stock market fall. You're seeing the DXY rise. This does mean it's likely for Bitcoin to fall. OK, so I've got my correlated and inversely correlated markets with the stocks and the forex. I've got the um, order flow now lining up bearishly. I've got a pattern lining up bearishly. I've seen a lot of late longs opening here. Uh, for me, this is now a time of caution. Um, yes, we could absolutely uh, get one little final move to the upside. We were actually looking in my daily morning trading update. So I have done a live stream already for the champion members. We have a new daily around 27,200. So this is our short opportunity if, if granted with that final fake out to the upside before we're actually looking for this move back down. Seeing all the divergences, if we could get one final divergence playoff here with a lower high and a higher high on the CVD, that would be icing on the cake. Perfect. Um, but yeah, I, I, I want to make it clear to you all that um, you know, I trade the charts. OK, if I see new information, I'm going to trade that new information. I don't want to be uh, anybody, you know, not not understanding this. OK, so, um, yeah, it was just a quick video to say, um, you know, my bullish bias that I've held since 24,900 where I took the long has come to an end now. We've obviously seen a very large and profitable rise to the upside, but nothing lasts forever. I am now looking for a pullback before continuation. And from this pullback, obviously, I'll make a next informed decision. Am I looking for a full blown reversal and heavier pullback or is it a pullback into a next buying opportunity for higher? This is my first thoughts. 
buy an opportunity because of the poor highs up here. But as always, I will make an informed decision based off of the order flow, based off of the market context, based off of my correlated markets, all coming together to make me uh, have high probabilities of the next move. So, yeah, for now, I'm looking for lower. If I get the short opportunity off of 27,200, absolutely wonderful. Uh, invalidation, of course, is holding that as support. If that's the case, then uh yeah then we will reach that higher target but for now um you know i'm looking for these bearish divergences to play out and uh a, a drop to come on bitcoin so hope this makes sense um yeah i hope you've enjoyed this very quick video as always if you want to see more from me uh like an update like this but much more detail much more exact um you know precise information then that's what you get every single day we got daily live stream updates we got live trading streams we got the course where you've got all the educational content from beginner to, you know, Master Elliott Waves, you know, everything that you need to become successful to trade the charts, even journaling, uh, you know, everything that you need right now via chartchampions.com. We've got the altcoin update going on right now. So if you want some altcoin setups, <laughs> you can catch that right now. This is a seven, uh, a wonderful live stream starting in about uh, 10 minutes time. So you can also catch that if you're quick. <laughs> so yeah, cheers, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed. You want more, you know where to get it, chartchampions.com. Thank you, everybody. And I'll catch you in the next YouTube video. Cheers. Thank you. And that's me signing out. Goodbye.